for my craft today i will be using this wooden box and i'm going to paint this with espresso by art minds i will only paint this for just one coat and i'll make sure that it has total coverage this paint is optional if you have any other paint that of this almost the same color with this like the burnt umber by apple barrel or waverly truffle it can also be used and then once dry i'm going to start to scrape it lightly because it will show the paint the first paint which is white and if you have a box like this and it doesn't have any paint yet you can paint it with white first and the second paint is the espresso by art minds and once done i have this waverly cashew i'm going to just lightly brush the inside I am using a chip brush for brushing this, for painting this. And as you can see, it really is very, very pretty. It looks so distressed. Then I'll be using the Wax by Art Minds to paint these sticks that I bought. And after this i am going to just remove the excess paint using a piece of cloth and it will leave a very nice finish and i'll see to it that this um totally covered with this paint It's about six or seven sticks, but I really did not use all of them. But just to make sure, I just painted some extra sticks. So now I'm going to wipe the excess paint using a piece of cloth. And you can see the finish is really very nice and it's I just love it. So I have this Highland Cow napkin and like I said, this is optional. Um, everything here, I'm just showing how I designed it. You can use a napkin with a horse design or any other napkin with other cow designs. And I'm going to just remove the papers or the napkin that i don't want to use in this craft using my water pen but if you don't have any water pen you can use a small brush and just dip it in water and then dab it onto the napkin to remove the paper that you don't need and then i will be using the mud budge mat and i will just brush it on the inside using a fan brush And after this, I am going to glue the napkin. I just smoothen, I just smooth the napkin using my fingers. And after that, I'm going to dry it using a heat tool. I should be very careful not to tear the napkin. Then once dry, I am going to lightly brush this again with the Mod Podge because I want to seal the napkin. And then after this, I'm going to dry it again.
this is a very easy craft but it's really really very cute how it turned out it's just awesome i love the finish and once dry i have this rustic wire i'm gonna measure about one inch there and drill a hole and on the other side as well And this time I'm going to use the rustic wire. This will serve as the hanger of this craft. I'll just twist a little bit of the ends so that it's not going to go through the hole. Then I will just bend the wire to make a little of the sign of the handle. This turned out very, very pretty craft, and I hope you like this. If you like this craft and I have more craft to show to you, please do subscribe to my channel because I have more craft ideas to show to you. So once done, I am going to just glue a piece there of um, one stick and I will glue a floral foam. And I'll cover it with Spanish moss. And I will start to just arrange some small flowers there and leaves. Now this time it looks real. It's just it's just it's a little small kind of uh, craft, but it really is nice. And the I just put a little of artificial flowers there, and these are optional. If you have any other artificial flowers that you can put, then that would be nice as well. So I'm going to glue the rest of the craft sticks because i'm building a fence here so it really looks so neat then i'm going to cut this so as you can see it really is very simple kind of craft and it really looks real A very pretty decoration. So that is my finished craft. It's so lovely. It's very cute. It can be displayed um, in the bedroom. Very nice. In the living room. It can stand as well. If you don't like to hang this on the wall, you can have it stand on a table. It's very pretty. So like I said, if you like my craft and to see more of my craft ideas, please do click the subscribe button. I thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.